Hello everybody, I'm Uber the Nine, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we, uh, we traveled to one island with Bill, and we saw his friend Celio, and we talked to Celio about his nice networking machine he's going, he's got going on, and then we also learned that he wanted us to help him like everyone always does, everyone just wants something, but that's fine because we are a very helpful person, and then... We decided to check out Kindle Road before heading on. We grabbed a Ponita, which is kind of interesting because I kind of lied last episode. I did a, had a nice little white lie because I said that Ponita is the only Pokemon that is required, is the only Pokemon that you have to come here is required to get when you come to one island. I said that there is going to be one required Pokemon, and only one required Pokemon to complete the Pokedex on one island, but there is actually technically two. Because we also, as you can see at the top of Mount Ember, which we climbed in the last episode, there's a, there's a Moltres right here that we're going to be fighting, and hopefully capturing after a long bout of throwing a bunch of Ultra Balls. So let's get started. Alright, Legendary Bird number two, Fire Edition. Moltres. Moltres is an interesting Pokemon. It has a fantastic special attack stat, which suits its fire typing so well. Let's see, that didn't do a lot, so I mean it's fantastic, but it can't be that great, right? It can definitely throw some serious flamethrowers your way, though. I'm sure Tommy's been taking this like crazy because of his high special defense and HP and stuff, so it doesn't look like it, but it can. And the rest of its stats are definitely pretty decent as well. I mean, it is definitely still a legendary Pokemon. However, Moltres, uh, Moltres is unfortunate because, as you can see, it is fire flying. And that means it is four times weak to rock moves. Rock slides, stealth rock. Actually, I don't think stealth rock's in this kit in this generation. But rock slides. Uh, what else do they got? I don't know. What are the rock moves? Are there rock throw? That's a rock move, right? Anyways, a bunch of rock moves are going to be destroying Moltres all over the place. It's also weak to both Surf and Thunderbolt, which are two of the most common moves in the entire game. It's just, it's just not going to be doing well against those. If you can set up Moltres to have a sunny day and you get a nice sunny day going, which will be great because now Surf will not be doing nearly as much damage, but your fire type moves will also be doing all sorts of great damage. You'll just be having a wonderful time burning everything in your path to the ground. But you do still have to be careful because Thunderbolt and any other rock type moves also, or any other moves like rock type moves, are also, that was two shakes, or three. I didn't count, but that was more than one, which is crazy, and makes me have some hope for this battle. You will have to be careful with Moltres, because it can do a whole bunch of damage, but it can also take a whole bunch of damage. And it, despite it being a fiery chicken, it can still be seriously deadly if you put it into the right situation. However, we now have to spend our time throwing a whole bunch of Ultra Balls and hoping that we catch it soon enough. Oh, I need to put it back to sleep! It woke up! Wow, I didn't even recognize that it woke up because I was too busy talking about Moltres and all that stuff. Yeah, we needed to throw some uh, yawns at it and then we'll throw some Pokeballs. Also, we just got Fire Spin. I'm not a fan of that. I don't want to be Fire Spin because we're going to be taking damage all the time, every time. I wonder if I... If I rest, does that get rid of... I don't know. I think we'll I think we'll take we'll take a turn of damage. I think we can survive. Tommy's pretty bulky. And then we're gonna hope to uh, not die for it's using endure. I you know, it's almost like it wants me to attack it. Because it's like, yo, I'm using Endure so that I don't die and I'll be at one health. That makes it easier for you to catch me, right? It's like it's tempting me. But I know, the one turn that I decide, you know, maybe I can attack it and it's not. And it's going to use Endure and it, it, it won't die. You know that's going to be the turn that it doesn't use Endure and I end up destroying the Moltres. You just know that's what's going to happen. 
So anyways, I'm gonna rest up, we're gonna throw a whole bunch of Ultra Balls, we're gonna have a great grand old time of just sitting here and throwing a whole bunch of Ultra Balls. You guys don't have to sit through all of the in-betweens, you'll just, like every other time, yo, I was freed from the fire spin. Was that convenient because of the turn, or was that because I used rest? I don't know. I'm a little curious now. Either way, it's time for the the Pokeball montage. Can we get more than one? Nope. One. One. That's what I'm talking about. We're in there. We now have two legendary Pokemon at our Pokedex. You know, I had a good feeling about Moltres. I knew Moltres was gonna be easy. I said it before we started. I was like, well, Moltres feels like it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time because we got more than one shake right at the beginning. It was giving me two shakes all along. Moltres, you you were definitely a very nice Pokemon. You were a gentle Pokemon, and I appreciate that. What a legendary bird Pokemon, though seen it overwhelmed by its orange wings that seem to be on fire. That seem to be? I'm pretty sure they are on fire. I mean, unless I've been completely mistaken this entire time. But I'm I'm pretty actually, I think I'm gonna name it something else. I was gonna I was gonna do something with a B, but now I'm doing something with an S, as you can clearly see. Hey, that rhymed. We're gonna we're gonna call you. Hmm, I don't have enough. Ah, okay, we'll, we'll, uh, I was gonna do, like, a, a spicy chicken deluxe or something like that, but I think, wait, wait, we can do a spicy chicken deluxe. If we do, like, uh, ooh, I'm caps, I don't want caps, yes. We're gonna do spicy chicken Oh man, I have to get rid of the letter somewhere. Ah, oh, I need one more letter! Mm. Alright, 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 all right, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll stick with the, uh, the first thing. Or actually, the second thing, was it? We'll stick with, uh, Kentucky fried chicken. There we go. And spicy KFC. But that is two legendary Pokemon, and we still have a whole bunch of stuff to do in this episode because we've got plenty of time. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make our way down the mountain and try to uh, explore the other areas of this volcano that we did not get to as we were going up. You know, I just thought about this. You notice how there's grass chilling here on this volcano? I'm kind of... I'm a little confused as to how that works, because if I'm not mistaken, this is a volcano. And a volcano has a lot of lava that goes down. And I feel like that would make it so, you know, there would be no grass things chilling anywhere. I don't know about you guys, but... Maybe that's just me, maybe I'm wrong about something, I don't understand the mechanics of nature well enough, but I feel like that's something that's the case. Maybe I'm mistaken, but that's okay. Either way, we, uh, we have really explored everything that I wanted to here on one island, so I will actually, um, I will see you guys as we head towards Two Island. I'm gonna fight the trainers here for a little bit and maybe go heal my Pokemon as well and make the trek all the way back, but we don't really need to uh, see all of that. So I will just see you as we head to Two Island. That was two twos in a row.
All right, so before we head off to Two Island, just want to show the team real quick. We got 43s on pretty much everyone. Tommy is 44, so we're doing quite well, if I do say so myself. Now let's head out to Two Island on Sea Gallop High Speed 2. I forgot that they had the Sea Gallop. I like that. I like that word. word. I'm not even sure if it's an actual word, but I like what it is as it is. So there's an old woman who lives in a cottage out on the cape. She gives the eye to Pokemon. It's a bit unnerving. She gives the eye to Pokemon? What do you mean she gives the eye to Pokemon? Oh man, I can't cut. I don't remember who my cut Pokemon is. It's my slave somewhere. Is there anything good over there? Oh, there's an item. I kind of want to get it. Boing, boing, have you tried the jumping game? Pokemon you can enter. Boing, some go boing, and some go boing. <laughs> Did you know that, boing? This dude likes the boing. The skip and chomp joyful game corner. Yes, there's a second game corner, and you come in. Now, where's Lester gotten to today? She always brings me lunch every day right about now. Hmm, you there. Are you a friend of Lester's? Have you seen Lestelle around? I don't know where she might be. I have no idea who Lestelle is, so I've not seen her around. Maybe I have. Is it that little... I guess... I can't really tell if that human outside this place is a guy or a girl. It's kind of hard to tell if the child look, but I think it's a guy. So I don't think that's Lestelle. A cutie. She's got my looks. <laughs> I'm sure she does, Mr. Mr. <laughs> uh, what's, what's it called? A bald head? I don't. He's not bald, but he's like... It's, it's like almost bald. Balding? Is that what it is? It's, yeah, I think that's what it is, Mr. Balding. Go search for her on 3 Island. Ha! What is this game going? How much shadow can this get? Those clowns. They said they'd be waiting on the island, so where are they? Hey you, is this only 3 Island around here? Right, you're on 2 Island. Try waking up before you cry out of bed, you punk. This is 2 Island. Oh, dang. He's calling him a punk. Move it. Get your filthy motorbike out of my place. Huh. Oh, oh, gotcha. Tch, these islands are so confusing. I, I mean, they're called One Island, Two Island, and Three Island. Does it does it really get much more simple than that? <laughs> Alright, so we can come in here and we can talk to this dude. I'm sorry, we're not running any games today. Oh, no games, but there is a PC there, but... Well, we've come to the game corner, and that's the dude we were supposed to give the meteorite to, but he doesn't seem to want to listen to us, so we're going to have to go find Lostel on Three Island for him. I'm the Pokemon Move Maniac. I know every single move that Pokemon can learn growing up. Wow, that's a lot of information. I'm also a Mushroom Maniac. Bring me two tiny mushrooms or one big mushroom. If you do that for me, I'll teach a move to one Pokemon. If I did, they need to learn to move, I need a mushroom or two. Do we have mushrooms? I don't believe we have mushrooms, which you can get when you catch Paris and Parasect. But I don't think we got any, so that's okay. That fellow there, he moved here from Sadon City. He started up a shop with his younger brother. You have to wonder if he knew what he was getting into. What do you mean by that? Oh, hello! Welcome to my shop. We've only opened up recently. Our merchandise is limited, but I hope we can serve your needs. What do you got for me, man? A great ball. And some fresh water. The fresh water's nice. But, I mean, that's not much of anything. So, unfortunately, for you, I'm not going to be buying anything, which is good on my wallet. So, you know, it will be, it'll be fine. Have you visited the game corner already today? It's no good to go alone. You have to tag a friend. You have to tag along with a friend, is that what you said? You have to take a friend along, yes, you do. In order to do that, you have to have connection with some other person. Not many people live on Two Island. There's this old lady who lives out on the Cape. She's been there since I don't know when. There's an old lady out on the Cape. We've That's twice we've heard. I don't believe I need to heal, actually, because I'm pretty sure I did that before leaving, and we haven't had any battles. So, I'm sorry, Nurse Joy, but that was a waste of your time. I apologize, and I guess your, your electronic machine money, which actually, that is probably a lot, because if I know anything about healthcare and stuff, it's a lot of money. So, I'm sorry, I guess? That's okay, I'm sure she doesn't even care. Also, there are Pokemon here, but we don't have any new Pokemon, so we're not, we're not caring about any of the Pokemon here. Instead, let's just go say hi to this old lady. You actually don't look that old. I perfected the ultimate move of its type, but will no one take it for future use? Hmm? Hmm? You, th that haunter. No, I was just mistaken. Well, what about James Pond being in front? Hmm? I perfected the ultimate move, but no one take it for you. Hmm? Hmm? You, that Blastoise. <gasps> oh, this is the one. This is the Pokemon. That Blastoise is worthy of learning my ultimate move. 
Will you allow it? Will you allow your Blastoise to learn my Hydro Cannon? This move can only be learned once, is that okay? You will allow it? Then let me confer my ultimate Hydro Cannon on your Blastoise. <laughs> James Bond wants to learn the move Hydro Cannon! Yeah, do we want to learn Hydro Cannon? <laughs> I mean... We don't really need bite. We don't really attack a lot of ghosty goos or others. We have other Pokemon. We only really use... Well, looks like a Hydro Cannon. Power. 150. Don't forget, that's Stab, so it's actually power of 225, with accuracy of 90! However, you can't move on the next turn. It's kind of like the Hyper Beam of Water type. You can also get, uh, oh man, what's the name's move? Frenzy Plant for Grass Pokémon, so if you have Venusaur or any of the Grass Starters, have you traded them over from any other game, you can learn Frenzy Plant, which is the, like, Grass-type version. And if you've got, uh, Fire-type Starter, you can use Flare Blast. Is that what it's called? Oh my goodness, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called Flare Blast. That sounds, that sounds about right. You take a Fire-type move and add some kind of blasting or cannons or destructions or something, and you get, you get what you have there. It's a really strong move, and it's honestly really good and casual. And competitive, not so much, because you have to rest on the next turn, so, you know, not exactly worth it. However, I think we're gonna give it a bite, and we're gonna take this, uh, Hydro Cannon as our own. I mean, we might as well. Also, I believe if you have a Pikachu, you can learn Volt Tackle, which is like the electric type version, but, uh, it's, I think, instead of, um, instead of resting, you just take damage. I didn't think I could teach that move while I still lived. Well, you did, and I'm glad I could be of help to you, Miss Old Lady. I am... That's actually really awesome, that we just helped, like, an old lady fulfill her dream. Like, I mean, think about that. She's lived her entire life wanting to teach some Pokemon that specific move. And she's super old now, and she's, like, about to die, and she's just thinking, like, man, I can't believe that over my entire life I could never teach a Pokemon that move. But now she's been able to teach the Pokemon move? Like, how cool is that? I'm very proud of what we have done today in this episode. Not only did we catch a legendary Pokemon, our second legendary Pokemon, Moltres, but we also helped an old lady fulfill her dream. And I think that is it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please click that like button. Remember, you can always click subscribe if you want to stay updated on the series and other stuff coming out from me. I hope I'll see you in the next episode. We will be heading off to Three Island to hopefully go find Lestel so we can come back to this dude and give him the meteorite because for some reason we can't just be like, yo, hey, here's the meteorite because he's like, ah, oh, my daughter, where'd she go? Doesn't want to listen to us, right? So we will be doing that hopefully in the next episode. And I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.